All right, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to the beginning of the Measure Q campaign. And Q stands for the quality of life. We're here today to support the renewal of the sales tax, 1%, that provides about $9 million to our general fund. It is essential that we renew this tax so that we can preserve the character and the quality of life in our community. You know, Davis is a wonderful place to live, to study, to work, to recreate. Bruce and I came here to Davis. We moved here, we chose to live here uh, over 40 years ago. And we chose it because it was an extraordinary place, we thought, to raise a family. We brought our boys here, and it was, in fact, a welcoming community, and a community that provided an extraordinary array of services and opportunities for all of us in the community. It's that kind of welcoming community and that kind of community that I want my grandchildren, our grandchildren, to continue to enjoy. And for that, we need to renew this existing tax Remember, it's not a new tax. It's a continuation of the same tax that was passed in 2014. I had the honor of serving this community for many, many years. I know that time and time again, we have asked the community, the community has come forward and agreed to make an investment in our future. And that's exactly what we want to ask them to do again and I'm convinced that they will. Let me give you one example. General Fund, sort of a, a, a budgetary name, but the fact is, I want to tell you what it does just in one area. Let's talk about the department we know as the Parks and Community Services. The numbers of, of um, activities and classes and programs that the General Fund has some uh, impact on is rather large. Think about the facilities that we have in the city. We have pools, we have fields, we have an art gallery, we have a museum. We have a number of different things that frankly, without the general fund, wouldn't be able to support all of the activities that take place within those wonderful facilities. One thing that is not visible, however, are the subsidies. When there are children who cannot afford do some of the activities that are available in the community, we make sure that they can, and that's one of the things that the general fund can be used for. Now, renewal of this sales tax probably won't be easy. No tax ever is. But frankly, we need to mobilize, mobilize our friends, our neighbors, and tell them how important it is to continue the kind of Davis that we've enjoyed and that we want our grandchildren and future generations to enjoy. So we're all gonna support Measure Q, Q's for quality of life. Let's go out there and win this. Thank you. Can I play the Dana White role? So uh, I'm gonna repeat a little bit about what uh, Lois just spoke about. Uh, and I think it is worth repeating. What Davis, uh, there are several things that make Davis a nice place to live. It's the involvement of the community, but it's also the ability of the city to help sponsor and create opportunities where the community can be involved. And where we are today, if we sort of look around, we see kids playing in a nice playground, we see people playing in, you know, hanging out in a nice park. We're very fortunate to have these things. Measure Q is supporting the existing sales tax that we already have. It's not a new tax, it just continues the sales tax level that we have had for the past years. And as Lois mentioned, no tax is necessarily going to be easy to either pass or renew. So it is important that we don't just assume that the public knows all the nice things that this sales tax does for the city. An important aspect of the sales tax is that it cannot be taken away by the state. All this money remains in the community of Davis. 
and this sales tax, the 1% increment, represents about 15% of our general fund. And our general fund covers about two-thirds of the costs of maintaining our park system and our recreation programs. So this is a very important component of what makes Davis nice. Also importantly is the majority of our public safety personnel, their expense, their, their costs come out of our general fund. It's our general fund that allows us to have a first rate fire department, a first rate police department, and other public safety officials. In the news recently, we've heard a couple, uh, unfortunately a couple things that frankly were a little bit shocking in terms of crime in Davis. And we need those types of things to be shocking to us. We do not want to be the community that just goes, oh well, just another crime here in Davis. These types of things should be extraordinary, out of the ordinary, and we should not accept them as the status quo. So recently the city council has been working to retain and also recruit additional police officers. In order to do that, we have to have the funds to do so. It's important that we work hard to maintain the high quality of life that we've come to expect here. And a good supporting piece of that is the ability to have this sales tax renewal. So in my mind, it's essential. This sales tax renewal, the support of the existing sales tax, is essential if we wish to keep Davis a nice community to live in. Uh, thank you. Who are you calling from? <laughs> uh, well, I'm very pleased to be here with my colleague, Council Member Dan Carson, and so many others. Uh, my name is Joe D'Annunzio, and I am the incoming chair of the Davis Chamber of Commerce. And I'm very pleased to report that we have the Chamber, our board, in September unanimously passed an endorsement of Measure Q. We feel very strongly that this is critical for our community. As you can imagine, our ability to attract and retain businesses is focused on Davis having a high quality of life, having good police, good fire protection, having good streets, and a safe environment for people to conduct business. Measure Q is critical for our ability to do that. And we have a high degree of confidence in our partnership with the city that the city's finances are very well managed and that this is our only option to move forward to have those adequate services. And at the end of the day, a healthy business community with jobs and services are important to a healthy community overall. It provides for our tax base, provides to help support for our schools, um, and makes us just a higher quality of life. Measure Q is critical to our ability to do that. And we at the Chamber are very strong supporters. We've endorsed this measure, and individual board members will be working with the city in support of this effort as we go door to door to convince our community that this 1% sales tax, that is a renewal of tax that already exists, is critical for our ability to maintain Davis as a wonderful place to live and a wonderful place to do business. Thank you very much. former school board member and a member of just about every organization in town. <laughs> <laughs> the full gamut across the whole lifespan. I guess I'm Sheila Allen. I'm here as a citizen and a member of the Measure Q campaign committee. And I am so happy to be a part of this. You know, when you start one of these campaigns, you always cross your fingers about what letter you're going to get. And when they assigned Q, we could not have been more excited because really, as Lois started out with, it speaks to what this part, what this, sorry, not parcel tax, I'm not doing schools anymore. What this sales tax is all about. It's about maintaining the quality of life in Davis. So it is not much and it is a little bit that everyone kicks in for, but what it does is pay for some of the very basic things that help to improve and enhance and continue the quality of life in Davis. I know that it's been mentioned a few times, but I'm just gonna hit some of the things that it covers so that we can be clear on it. It covers for police and fire, for a very important part of safety for all of us in the community. It pays for parks. Here we are in beautiful central parks. 
Central Park. It pays for recreation. So for everything from all the, the kids' programs and the camps to our very great senior center and all the programs that happen there. It pays for, there's one more area, the... Rodents. Rodent roads, thank you. Roads and, 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 um, and bike lanes. I had an opportunity to go to the Davis Futures um, um, pre, uh, presentation a couple days ago, and uh, uh, the person presenting from another city said, I, I'm not sure what I can tell you because I go to other cities and tell them to do what you are already doing in Davis. You should have common spaces, safe common spaces for people to come together, such as our parks. You should have, um, you should have bike lanes. And we were, we of course invented the bike lane, so we are way ahead of, of the rest of the country on that. So we have been looking to the to the our past of what we've done right and in order to maintain that. I want to re reiterate that this is a renewal. It is not a new tax. We are renewing what we have now, but that allows us to continue to maintain our quality of life here in Davis. So I really thank everyone who came out today. It's always amazing to me that people just show up with these kind of things. But I really am impressed upon you to go talk to your friends and neighbors to make sure that they know that there are ways that they can help with this. It's already been mentioned, it's never easy to, to pass a tax. So what it's going to take is all of us talking to our friends and neighbors. You can sign up to be a part of the campaign committee. You can be, you can help with the, um, with endorsements. We have an endorsement process. We have a website which is the aptly named RenewDavis.com. Or you can, measure, you can Google Measure Q Davis. You can find it that way, because I found it that way too. We're now on Facebook. You can like us. You can, um, you can donate to the campaign, because it does take money in order to get the word out. So there are many ways that you can help, and we thank you all for being here today, and are happy to answer any questions. Does anybody have any questions? So Lois, come back up, and, uh, and Joe, and, and Brett, Brett, and we'll see and who they Aaron, ask questions of. Yeah, you will have questions, but then everyone stick around, because we're going to take another picture at the okay. end. We all right, can. does anybody have any questions? Oh, Marie's <laughs> telling us. So that's, we, we should be closer. We're, we're friends. Closer. Sign the first one. I can do that. Are, th are there any questions? It's, in a, it's a smart group. You can come up with a question. Yeah. Brian, do you have a question? Yes, if I vote yes for the clock, I'm going to run. Yes. <laughs> I, I think that, you I know, sometimes the time goes back, sometimes the time goes forward, but the clock will continue to run and we'll continue to have the, the great services that we have in place. Are there any news media questions? All right. All right. Well, I, I, hold on. When is the next public meeting that you will have where people can come and ask questions? When's the next public meeting? You know, we're waiting to see, for example, if League of Women, uh, League of Women Voters or some of the other organizations schedule some events. Uh, we, we've been reaching out to all of them to see what their schedule will be, and they, they're not quite there yet, I think. Oh, you will, we'll definitely have a regular presence at the farmer's market on Saturday morning. And we're available to speak to any group who would like. We've been out speaking to some groups already who've requested it. We'd be happy to... If you can get a group of people together, we'll come talk to them. Any other questions? Yep. All right, can we have one more picture since we've had some new people since we took our first one? If anyone would come up here and join us. All right. All right. Okay, it's a wrap. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. I didn't have a chance to say hello. So if I had no... Hi, I haven't seen you in hours. <laughs>